What's up, guys? Um, so I'm back here at Chicago Industrial Arts. Um, it is a, uh, it's like a school that where they teach welding, um, woodworking. They have like a small foundry deal up on the third floor, uh, technology department. And uh, you can actually get co college credits for this, but uh, it's a pretty cool little deal they have over here. I was here, uh, I probably did a video back in the day, um, hooking up a bunch of machines. And I told them all the way back then, I said, man, you guys need a service upgrade. They had 200 amps coming into this building and stuff just, you know, I mean, it was pretty bad the way everything was wired. I'll show you that now. Um, here's the existing service that was originally for the building. Uh, there's a feeder that goes into the back of that um, that's ripped off. It's not even there anymore. So they came into this tap box and then into this panel and all this shit was just, you know, on that panel. This is a new panel. I couldn't uh, use this as my temp panel because the lugs are fucked. Anyway, so this is just temped in for now so I can, so I can, build, uh, so I can build my new service and keep them running. That's the bitch about this job. I have to keep them running. So, we've been, we, you know, we've been working a, a few off hours, but... My plan is, well, here's what I'm doing. Uh, I'll explain this to you a little bit uh, better first. So out of here, this is called the tap box. There's going to be two three and a half inch aluminum pipes uh, going out for my risers, which tie into the power company. Um, you have your neutral, your A phase, your B phase, and your C phase. This is 12208. Uh, yeah, there you go. So pretty uh, foolproof and then it comes out into these meters goes through the meter and and metered and then here is a 200 this is going to be a 100 amp breaker for the uh for the building panel uh it's going to be three phase i don't need it but um i need three phase everywhere else so whatever uh there's only a couple lighting circuits and maybe some convenience outlets on that uh building panel um this whole building was metered with one meter you know, uh, when I got here. So anyway, um, they're expanding their wood shop, doing a bunch more stuff and the building burned down next door. And, uh, and, uh, you know, the owner's finally like, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's do it. Anyway. Um, so, so what they had, you know, this shit was just all fucking racked together. Um, I'm having to tempt them in to keep that power on. So that's, the existing power. All these feeds go to panels and shit. Uh, there's an elevator feed for this elevator over here. Uh, so that's all just temped in. And I can do all my work, pipe everything in, put in my new panels, uh, and keep them going until I put these risers in and do my cut over. And then that goes away. So what we have here is, is uh, I've even got this going. This is, got a couple guys on this. Anyway, um, there's a panel on the first floor. Uh, it's cored out, goes straight up there. It's going to come over. We stopped right there because we got to move all this shit, which sucks. And it's going to come over, and then I'll offset it over to that wall. And I will tap right into the side of this uh, meter bank right here. So there's your first floor, second floor, third floor. 200 amp, three phase, 120, 208 going to every floor. So that leaves us with the basement down here. We're metering every floor, including the basement, separately. Um, and then there's going to be one additional panel, obviously, for the common areas. So that these pipes here, along with that one, take care of one, two, and three. Now for the basement, all I have to do is come out of one of these concentric knockouts pipe over and I'm going to put a 200 amp panel over here and then I'm going to come out of the, one of these concentric knockouts with a smaller pipe probably inch and a quarter and it'll come out and I'll put the building panel there uh, I can wire all that stuff up um, and uh, you know while it's off all these I'm going to pull all the wire do everything I have to do and then uh, this building is only closed for one day a week so the day before that, that night, Thursday night, they're closed Friday. So I have Thursday night till uh, till basically Saturday morning. I'll put in my risers outside, pull that wire, 
and uh, and do my chain, you know, my cut over. So basically, a lot of these panels that are existing, I'm not going to rewire uh, the whole building, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Um, but these are all going to go away. These feed all of those panels that are existing. And then an elevator feed, and there, there's probably yeah, a lighting circuit in there or some shit. But anyway, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So, and I'll show you something else that's kind of cool, too. I got cool old doors, man. Anyway, uh, so yeah, here's my feeds that were coming out of the side of my distribution going up cord through the floor that was kind of sucked because the damn uh set screws were there so you know we chipped it out that'll all be fire caulked and patched up and then these feeds will go away um i'll show you i will show you this panel right now uh it's actually on because that one inch feed used to feed the panel that's here so what i did Instead of using this 200 amp uh, three phase breaker, I just put a little 100 amp right here and it feeds all this shit. So they have temporary power. Now, what I'm going to do with that feed is I'll show you. They have another panel over here. So I'll heat that panel up out of my new distribution downstairs. And then I already have a pipe coming all the way over to here that goes to that panel. That's what's feeding that panel right now. I'll cut it off and refeed it over to here, and this will become a sub panel, and I can get rid of the old feeds and cut all those out of there. So, uh, kind of same thing on the second floor. So that's what I'm going up with. Uh, I'll show you the second floor. It's kind of where we stopped yesterday. And then I'll show you the outside stuff. Uh, Okay, so, here we go, there's my two inch pipe, or two and a half inch pipes. This pipe is going to go into a new panel I'm going to put here. I'm going to put a 200 amp panel right here. Out of that 200 amp panel, I'll come out with a uh, piece of inch and a quarter and feed this panel, and that panel will become a sub panel. And then I can cut off this feed, I can cut off this feed, and it will be refed. Third floor right there, I'm going to offset, go straight up, core through that. We already did. What they did when they uh, put these pipes in is they chipped out the whole fucking corner. And this is when this building was built. And put some shitty concrete in there, you can see. So this one just kind of blew out. But whatever, you know, uh, that's original. There was concrete on the top and bottom. And then it was... Uh, like newspapers and shit were stuffed in there. Yeah, well, whatever. I'll uh, I'll do it up anyway. So that elevator feed here is the uh, motor for that. This is old school and grandfathered in, but it's right here. So I am gonna refeed this. This is the only auxiliary circuit that I'm gonna be refeeding because um, it's old cloth wire and it's uh, it's dangerous. Um, this elevator is grandfathered in. So you don't have to go, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to abide by the current, you know, I guess requirements for that. But if something happens, that grandfather clause goes right out the window. So, I mean, I told the customer, dude, you should really refeed that and he's gonna. So that'll be a little extra for this job. But after we get our new service up here, uh, Matt, the owner of this place, is going to revamp this whole wood shop up here. And uh, I'm going to put a trapeze here. And I'm going to put another trapeze here. And it's going to feed all his new machines. He's getting... Uh, uh, this place is doing really well. He's, he's doing well. So he's going to get a couple more table saws. I guess this is a bottleneck when they're doing their classes. People just kind of waiting. Another table saw and a bunch of other equipment. And we're just going to totally redo this. I piped all this in um, a couple years ago. Uh, I will be able to use some of these circuits. But I will have a nice brand new uh, clean power source. I'll have a trapeze coming. And I'm going to make my trapeze a little bigger. Trapeze is basically a piece of strut that goes up and it's anchored into the ceiling. And you run all your pipes on that. 
Um, I'll show you one downstairs. Anyway, uh, so he can run. He's got a bigger dust collection system, and he can run all his uh, duct work and, or, or pipe and shit for that, too. So that's what this is. I don't know. It's... Uh, it's pretty cool. I actually took a class here, you know. I mean, I kind of worked it in. I'm like, yeah, give me a free class, man. And uh, I did the metal work, and then I did the, uh, and I did the uh, woodwork, and just, you know, I don't know. Uh, there's little things that you can learn that just, I don't know, make it better. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't know a lot. Anyway, so that's that's here, and then uh, upstairs, that's actually locked. So I'm not gonna go get the key. <laughs> Anyway, so I will show you what we got going over here. So there's going to be, uh, outside for my risers, I'm going with uh, three and a half inch aluminum for the risers. A couple 90s coming out, offsets. And then all my auxiliaries, these are those pipes you just saw, these are two and a half. So this... And I'll, I'll have two pipes coming up of this three and a half inch, which will be the raceways for this wire. This is 500 MCM, uh, black, red, blue, white, neutral, A phase, B phase, C phase. They didn't really put it on the reel right, but that's the way it goes. And then for 480, it's brown, orange, yellow. Just remember, boy, brown, orange, yellow. Anyway, uh, so he, so you saw those holes in the back of the uh, in the back of the distribution cabinet, and that's just the old cover. So I've got that whole thing blown out. I just put that there for temporary. I'm gonna come out, come straight up with two of those three and a half inchers, and uh, do my cut over and tie it in. So. I know that, uh, that might have been kind of some technical shit. If you guys got any questions, I'll answer it, man. I answer comments. Plus, I'm at the farm sometimes. It's, it's a little harder with no internet service. It's like if I go into town and I have time, I will. But anyway, uh, oh, yeah, the farm. Going down there. Uh, you'll be getting some videos going down there. Uh, in about five days, something like that, I'll do this cut over over here, get them the power back on. Uh, to the new stuff and then I'm gonna head out so anyway that's about it I might rate and subscribe if you want to